hello guys welcome to my channel uh, in this video i will show you how you can uh, insert any images from the unsplash.com if you're not aware of unsplash.com then uh, it's a it's a website where you can get free high resolution photos so uh, and you can use it in your blogs but uh, usually uh, the most common way of using that is just people go and download that images and then uh, link that images to your website but in this case uh, if you download it you have to host it somewhere so you are using extra storage space uh, of your hosting service so the best way would be to directly link your blog image to the uh, unsplash image so I'll show that uh, on my uh, local uh, website, which is running locally in my computer. So you can see that there are like uh, four images here and all those four images are sort of linked to the Unsplash. So, uh, and I'll show you how you can do that. So let, let's just go back to the code. Uh, first, uh, you see the, the this is a blog post and blog post have like a teaser image uh or preview image and uh, you can set that image uh, using uh, uh using the code uh, all you have to do is uh, use the https source unsplash.com and in this case i just want a random image like uh, a randomly uh, taken from the unsplash and just add it to over here so when i refresh this website you'll see that this this image will change right and even this image and this image will change so uh, so sometimes we want to use the random images but uh, most of the times we just want a uh, fixed image that is also possible like uh, for for this uh, blog post you uh, uh, we have like uh, this teaser image which is fixed like even if I refresh you'll see that this is like uh, fixed and that you can do by just uh, uh, adding the ID to the image and how you can get that ID so you, you just go here and let, let's just search maps and uh, let's just change it to this one and uh, for this image you can see that uh, here is the ID this one so all you have to do is copy this one and then go over here and change this one uh, to the new ID and that's the uh, new image and you have linked it using the source.unsplash.com and uh, that's it so save it and uh, it will automatically refresh and you see that the new image have rendered so even if i uh, like uh, uh, refresh the page it will still stay the same inside uh, the blog post we have another random image and sometimes we want to fix the dimensions of that image that is very easy to do as well so we go over here and that is the random image but we want that random image to be of size 300 by 300 so all we have to do is just uh, uh, up, uh, append that uh, dimension 300 by 300 and you, you'll see that uh, it automatically uh, finds the image which is of this dimension uh, so that's super easy we can uh, change the dimension like we want to make it uh, wide angle so we make it 600 by 300 and yeah, you see we got 600 by 300 so it's super easy uh, we can uh, in fact find some images uh, say uh, let's find some image of uh, computer uh, not maps computer just computer and uh, okay so let's use this one we have the id here so let's copy the id from here come back here to the blog post instead of the random we change it to the uh, the ID and uh, on splash computer image let's change the description of it and and that's it uh, if we go back to the blog post we have this computer image right we rendered in a correct dimension which is perfect so uh, this is how you can uh, link any uh, unsplash images to your blog post so you don't have to uh, host it on your uh, site or through your hosting service you're doing that uh, okay so uh, uh, that is all uh, you have to do to uh, connect your website 
to unsplash uh, as you can see uh, this uh, this website i've made it locally uh, in the future videos i'll show you how you can create uh, a jekyll website this is a jekyll one uh, how you can create a jekyll website and uh, this uh, i'm using a theme uh, the modified theme uh, minimal mistakes but uh, i will show you from uh, the beginning like uh, from the very basic how you can set up how you can install the jekyll on your local computer and then how you can uh, build up your websites how you can uh, 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 add images how you can uh, make different blog posts how you can make collections how you can add different themes to your website so please stay tuned uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you